The Invest in Her podcast is brought to you in part by Wells Fargo Bank. Hi, I'm Catherine Gray, founder of She Angel Investors and co-founder of the She Angels Foundation. I'm also the podcast host of Invest in Her and an award-winning producer, author, and TEDx speaker. Our show, Invest in Her, features phenomenal female founders and funders. As you know, women receive less than 2% of venture capital funding. Our series is about accelerating the funding of women by connecting them to funding resources. Let's meet today's guest. Welcome to this week's edition of Invest in Her. I'm your host, Catherine Gray, founder of She Angel Investors and co-founder of the She Angels Foundation and the producer of the movie, Show Her the Money. And today I'm so excited to have on an icon in the industry. She has done so many amazing things for women and entrepreneurs. Uh, she has an amazing event coming up that we're gonna be talking about and also is an award-winning acclaimed uh, leadership expert, best-selling author, speaker, and was selected in Forbes 50 over 50. Please welcome to the show, Gloria Felt. Hi, Gloria. Hey, thank you, Catherine. It's so great to be here with you. Great to have you. And I am super excited about the National Women's Equality Day that's coming up August 26. And you are having an amazing event in Washington, D.C. Let's talk about the annual Power Up concert and conference. Oh, thank you so much for asking that question, because there's nothing more uppermost in my mind right now than that than that conference, because, oh, my gosh, are we not in an amazing moment? Oh my history. gosh, I'm so excited. We were just talking about that this morning. Super excited. Yes. Things it's, are it's, it's just, really it's on just, the, uh, you know, rolling up for women right now. So couldn't be better timing for your conference. Exactly. And our, our mission at Take the Lead is nothing less than intersectional gender parity in every single sector. By next year, actually, when we put the stake in the ground, we said 2025. And even though there was a pandemic and other things to set women back, we, we stayed with that because I'm pretty sure that these moments of chaos and change are the best moments when we can move to further faster together. So our theme for the conference this year is Together We Lead, because we are all in this together. We know we can't do it alone. We know it's important to have many organizations coming together. And that's one of the reasons I'm so thrilled to be able to talk to you and, and love what you're doing so much to help women get more, more of what they need to get in terms of investments. So the conference is in Washington, D.C. this year, and it is also available virtually. And it is um, the Power Up Conference. It is taketheleadwomen.com forward slash the Power Up Conference, or just go to taketheleadwomen.com and you can get linked directly to it on the home page. We have, it's unusual to have a concert as part of a, of a women's leadership conference, but that's what we do because we think it's important to kick it off with something that gives you a lot of inspiration, energy, joy. We will be celebrating and, and giving our Leading Woman Award, which we do every year, to none other than Wonder Woman herself, Linda Carter. So she will be at our concert, and we have three different performers with three different incredible genres of music, from classical to indie pop to acapella uh, with Sweet Honey and the Rock. So we're 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 this concert is going to be at the Kennedy Center, and it is a don't miss it. Don't miss it. There are a few tickets for the concert only if you can't be at all of it, but we want you to come to all of it. Yeah, I saw so that. That's almost sold out. And uh, yes. you also have one of my other favorite groups there, Betty. Uh, Betty, so, we yes. love Betty. Yes, yes, yes. that's going to be oh amazing. Yeah, and at the Kennedy Betty. Center, no less. You know how to do it, Gloria. <laughs> we try. We try. We try to make it. We try to make it a good, not just a good show, but a good event for everybody to feel part of. Right. And um, I will tell you, there's a little fun surprise that the performers have cooked up for us at the end. So we'll leave. We'll leave dancing. That's all I can tell you. That's oh. all I can reveal. Hey, I'm up for that. <laughs> we have a <laughs> yeah. lot to celebrate right now. <laughs> yeah. So then the next day at the National Housing Center, we have uh, we have an action-packed day where we will give some additional awards. We, we have a leading man. We have a leading um, advocate, which will be the Equal Rights Amendment Coalition because what could be more appropriate for Women's Equality Day given that the Equal Rights Amendment 
is only 101 years old and it's still not published in the Constitution, we think we can put it over the top this year. So so we're going to honor the Equal Rights Amendment Coalition and, and we'll highlight the necessity for not just the ERA, but the necessity for what Alice Paul, one of the, suff the suffrag suffragists who wrote the Equal Rights Amendment, she understood that you have to always have a forward agenda. You can't think that getting the right to vote, for example, was the end. It was just the beginning. We always have to have a forward agenda, keep moving forward, fight forward. So we'll we'll honor them with our Leading Impact Award. We'll honor Pandia Health, which is making birth control readily available through the mail for every woman anywhere. And also menopause services, we're honoring them as our leading company. Uh, we'll have our theme, Together We Lead, we'll run through the whole conference. Together We Lead for Health, Together We Lead for Wealth, Together We Lead for Your Career, Together We Lead for Self-Branding, Together We Lead for Your Thought Leadership. And I'll tell you, I'm so excited about our closing speaker. Oh, I'm so excited about this. Um, she is um, she is Jenny Yin, and she, she started the sports bra. You know, I was going to bring her up. I am so excited that you have her speaking. I mean... <laughs> Uh, she's amazing. Think, she's amazing. She's and she's lovely. And talk about starting a movement. And now she has uh, Alexa Sohanian is, is 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 investing to enable her to start franchising the sports. I bra heard about that. Over. That is super so, exciting. Yeah. So you want to start one? Shall we open one somewhere? <laughs> we we together? should. I mean, we should. I, I love that. I think that would be so fun. Anyway, so Jenny will be there. And the other thing that we're doing because it's our tenth anniversary in particular is we want people to know the power and the impact that we're having with our Take the Lead programs. Because as I often say, at my age and stage, would I be doing this work if I didn't know it was having a really major impact? And we have both external and internal evaluations that have proven that the curriculum that I've developed based on my own research really does give women a great acceleration in their careers and in a way that enables them to do it with confidence, authenticity, and joy. And I think all of those things are very important. So we're honoring also nine of our own women who have been through our 50 Women Can Change the World program or one of our other programs. And uh, we're honoring nine of them with the uh, uh, Power Tool Champion Awards. So I'm very excited about that. I also. love that. I don't know if you know this, but I was part of your 50 Women Can Change the World in Media and in Entertainment Ooh. when you first started this. So I I'm a big fan that. of yours. Yes. Oh, that's fantastic. So many of the women in that cohort are doing such incredible things. It's yes. just phenomenal. Yes. Yes. I mean, your work is amazing with Take the Lead. And I think this event is going to just be off the charts. It's the right timing. People are so excited about the empowerment of women. It's our time. And you couldn't have hit it at a better time, a better year. Um, and of course, at Women's Equality Day in Washington, D.C. on August 25th and 26th. And anybody can get tickets at takethelead.com, right? No, oh. um, the, I, I, there's a little story behind this. When we started Take the Lead, which we now have trademarked, by the way, but the URL is owned by a dog company. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and they wanted just so much more money than we had at the time. So we made our URL takethelead.women.com. Right. Okay. Takethelead.women.com so, yeah. is where they can yes. get the tickets. That's where they can. Yeah. Um, and and I remember because I went there the last night and I saw your tickets on sale there. And we'll be posting that, of course, with this oh, thank interview. You. Thank you. Um, so also you have another, uh, great lineup of speakers. I mean, I've just noticed some of them, uh, Anwar Badar, Badar, how do you say her name? Badar, she's my friend and I have a hard time saying her name. Bardwatch? Anu Bajwa, An yes. and Anu she's the founder of Shikonomy. She's amazing. Uh, Nancy O'Reilly, who I'm going to be having on my show. Uh, Loretta McCarthy, we all love her from Golden Seeds. Um, yep. And then I even saw Kathleen Turner. And I was like, Kathleen Turner, the actress? And it's like, yes. sure, she's yes. going to be there. That's so cool. Yes. yes. Well, so Kathleen, last year we gave Kathleen our what we call the Wear the Shirt Award. And I know it's kind of a funny name, but uh, it's an important story because it is. it really comes from when I was um, the CEO of Planned Parenthood in Arizona. 
and we had a little clinic in a very conservative rural town. And I was visiting with the staff there one day, and these young women said to me, you know, before we go, we leave, and before we, you know, leave our work, we just have to decide every day whether we take off our shirts that have the Planned Parenthood logo on them and wow. put on regular street clothes. Because do we want to have to talk about, you know, we don't have to have a conversation with if we're getting, you know, pumping our gas or if we're going to the grocery store or whatever. And I said, you know, that's actually the most important time to wear the shirt. And it became a metaphor for me. And so we give that award every year to someone or some company that exemplifies living their values and letting the world know their values. And I will tell you, Kathleen Turner is one of those. She has always been an activist as well as an actress. And so she will be there both to present that award this year, but also I said, Kathleen, I know because we wrote a book together about her life. I know a lot about it. I said, I, you have had such intentionality about how you have, have, uh, like lived your career and made your career, uh, created your career. Would you be willing to be on this panel about careers? And she said, absolutely. Yes, I would be happy to do that. So that's why Kathleen is on that panel. I love that. I want to, I can't wait to see her and meet her. And I think she's amazing, amazing actress. And I uh, can't wait to hear her on the panel. So what a lineup you have. I mean, uh, who wouldn't want a ticket to this? I think people should get on a plane, go to D.C., uh, go to Take the Lead Women, which, by the way, I like that URL better than Take the Lead. I like that. Take the Lead Women. Yes, Absolutely. Yes. It, it speaks to our mission much more clearly, doesn't it? It does. It does. Yes, right. um, what caused you to create Take the Lead and also to launch this annual Power Up concert and conference? Like, What was the reason behind it? I'd like to say that I had this intention to do it, but that's not actually true. What happened was, um, after a wonderful 30-year career with Planned Parenthood ending as the national president, I was pretty like, I'm done with having organizations. I don't want to run an organization anymore. I want to write books. That's all I want to do for the rest of my life. I want to write books. Well, I wrote a book called No Excuses, Nine Ways Women Can Change How We Think About Power, and in doing the research for that book, because I had become obsessed with trying to figure out how is it that I've been working to open doors and change laws for women for, you know, how many decades? We don't even want to admit how many decades. How is it? And yet women are still so far from parity in leadership. And as your uh, film, in the, you know, tells people from money as well. Uh, money and power in our culture being almost synonymous. So how is it that women are so far from parity in those important things? And so I did my own research. I found that most of the research said, oh, well, women just have less ambition than men. And I'm like, no, that's not it. There's something else going on. And what I concluded was it has to do with our relationship with power and how we have been culturally attuned to, uh, to have a, a lot of ambivalence around the whole concept of power because the narrative of history is about fighting and wars and scarce resources and blah, blah, blah. You know, well, women are smart enough not to want that kind of power. But with that means we had to redefine power for ourselves. So that's what I have done based on my own research. And then people started asking me to teach workshops using what I had written in No Excuses because other people realized it was actually a leadership book. So I created a curriculum with the help of some experts and I, uh, I have the, the power transformation, the nine leadership power tools that help you implement this in a very concrete and, and actionable way, because I'm all about action. And then we also have an element of it, which is you have to create your own strategic plan, which you probably remember from being in the, uh, the uh, 50 Women Can Change the World program. So, uh, I, so I was just gonna teach a few workshops and I thought, well, that'd be fun. Well. You know, having been a movement builder for most of my life, pretty soon I was convinced that in order to have a real impact, we needed to have an organization. So with a co-founder, we started to take the lead with the mission to prepare, develop, inspire, and propel women of all diversities and intersectionalities to take their fair and equal share of leadership positions across every single sector. We put a stake in the ground. We said 2025, 
We weren't anticipating a pandemic that would set us back a little bit, but we have not changed our mission because we think that with all of the changes, all of the chaos that's going on in the world right now, we can actually move farther faster than we ever might have imagined. So we're, we're keeping our stake in the ground for next year. And I think with people like you, Catherine, and with what's happening in politics, and look, women were half of the Olympic athletes this year. This is the moment. I think we can do it. I, I agree with you. I think the time to move farther, faster is right now. And uh, like you mentioned, um, you know, with our movie, Show Her the Money, we are trying to bring to the attention of uh, the the world that women are getting only 2% of venture capital funding. And how crazy is that? And we need to fund women in order to save the planet. And so all of this we're doing, teaching women to be leaders. Like you said, our culture is what holds us back, the teachings of our culture. So I just love the work that you're doing with Take the Lead, with your cohorts of that women can change the world and we can change the world and we will change the world for the better. You know, right. this is our time. The Dalai Lama says the Western women will change, will save the world. And I do believe that. And so it's starting, it's starting right now with your movement, with our movement, or I call ours, I call ours a movie and a movement. So it's a movement. So we're a movie. <laughs> movie, man. A movie man. I love it. I love it. Well, you know, our ninth leadership power tool is tell your story. Because we that. humans learn through stories. Yes. You know, they, they may tell you they want metrics, but yeah. really it's the stories that persuade people and move people to, to, to make the changes and to do the amazing things that we are able to do in the world. Yeah. So, I was convinced you know, I, that we I, were I, never going to get women involved in venture capital if we didn't do storytelling. And right. I do believe it's film and television that helps change culture. It's a most entertaining, inspiring way to educate people, right? Um, mm -hmm. And events, in-person events, like what you're doing with the Power Up Conference. Bringing people together in person is magical. And I think create such a force you know when you get all those energies in the same room so i know your concert and your conference are going to be amazing you have these incredible speakers you have these incredible topics it's the right time where the energy is already lifted up and it's going to just make it you know explode so this Washington DC gathering is going to be incredible and thank you so much for putting it together because i know it's a lot of work <laughs> Yes, right about now, I'm saying, I'm never doing this again. <laughs> <laughs> but you will. <laughs> but, but, but I'm sure we will. I'm sure we will. Yes, because you're right. It is the secret sauce really is the community. And the secret sauce is creating that community. And and that's, I think, you know, I, I, I was talking to a young woman who was at the conference last year, and it was the first time she had been to an event like that. And that's what she said. She said, I just, she said, I can't even express how important it was for me because of all the contacts that I made and all the interesting and, and incredible women and men who I met because we invite men too we're happy to have men we have a we have a leading man award also and uh we 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 definitely appreciate men getting involved and being part of this being part of this movement because we you know our theme is together we lead and we truly believe that yeah. together we lead it takes all of us and we each can do our part you know speaking of the men that's one of the things that uh, has surprised me the most on our 100 city tour of our film show her the money is the men who've come and said oh my gosh i didn't realize there was such an imbalance I have daughters, I have a wife, I have sisters, I have friends. I don't want this imbalance and I understand how it negatively impacts the world. Where do I sign up to help out? So we welcome the investments and support of the men for sure. Um, but women do have to start stepping up and being investors yes. and participate more in us all coming together to lift each other up, right? We're not competing Absolutely. with each other. We are mm -hmm. in this. And I always say, you know, we need something like the old boys club, but nobody wants to be in the old girls club. <laughs> so we have to change it to a B. So it's bold girls club. So we're creating <laughs> the bold girls club, right? Bold girls club, yes. <laughs> That yeah. is excellent. That yeah. is excellent. I think you should trademark that right away. <laughs> <laughs> so TakeTheLeadWomen.com is the website where people can get tickets to this amazing Power Up annual 
uh, concert and conference in Washington, D.C., August 25th and 26th. Of course, the 26th being Women's Equality Day. What better way to celebrate? So I want my listeners to get tickets to this event. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity. And uh, Gloria Felt from Take the Lead is uh, hosting this incredible happening. So you don't want to miss it, everybody. Catherine, thank you so much. And while we want everyone to be there in person, if they possibly can, it is also part possible to get it virtually. So we want we want it available to everyone everywhere. And um, so that's that's a whole that's a whole other thing. But I but love we that. Really and like my friends in Europe, in person. yeah, my friends in Europe and Australia, New Zealand. I hope you all tune in to this incredible event uh, and get your virtual ticket. Gloria, it's an honor to have you on. Thank you so much. Look forward to seeing you in Washington, D.C. And thank you, everybody, for tuning in today. Of course, you can find Gloria and I also on LinkedIn and social media. Uh, remember, ladies, to take the lead and invest in her. Make it a great week, everybody. Thanks, Gloria. Thank you, Catherine.